I mean, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. It was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. Just, I like humbling men. It's like my pastime. What made you cheat? What was the feeling that made you cheat? Always cheat before they cheat. I was just bored. Did, did you feel bad or no? Be honest. No. <laughs> Never. There is a spiritual war that we are up against as men. I'm sure you watching this right now, I'm sure you are constantly, every day, fighting for your joy, your happiness, your sanity. You may even be right now in this current season of your life, you may be in a deep, dark place, hurting, and you look around and the world just continuing to get worse and worse and worse. You see men being chewed up and spit out. Women are being told and encouraged to be more like men, be more aggressive, be a boss, you know what? It's wild, bro. Not even 50, 100 years ago, men, they took pride in their family. Actually, their woman, she was the driving force behind their life, behind their purpose, and they would have proudly laid down their lives for their girl. They would have proudly sacrificed everything if it was just to keep them safe, keep their family safe. No questions asked. We celebrated this. We celebrated the family unit. The woman, she would look to her man in complete awe, and the man would embrace his girl's love, his wife's love. He would embrace his duties as husband and do whatever it took to make her feel valued, to make her feel loved and appreciated, even if that meant giving his life. These days, we look at that. We look at that scenario and we cringe. Oh, I would never spend that much time making my wife feel valued. I would never spend that much time loving my girl. I ain't gonna simp for her. I ain't gonna give her that much power over me. Just the idea of tradition, the idea of family, it has become an absolute disgrace for people. Instead, we celebrate singleness. We celebrate hookup culture. We celebrate divorce. We celebrate just doing what you want and do what makes you feel good. Do all the things that make you feel like a king without having to embrace his responsibilities. These days, bro, rather than becoming more selfless, we've become more selfish. Like it says in 2 Timothy, in the last days, people will become lovers of self. It says that they will be unholy, arrogant, boastful, without self-control, without love of good, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God. Now, don't get me wrong here. This video ain't no pro-men and men up, women down. This video in no way, shape, or form is here to devalue our women. This video was made to wake our men up. The world is completely out of control, my brothers. Why? Because men, it always begins with us men. God has placed us in a position of authority, of power. He holds us to a higher standard. So no matter what's going on in the world today, no matter how much of a mess it's in, it all falls back on the man's shoulders. And we gotta own up. We gotta take complete responsibility. We've messed up. We've fallen short. And don't think I'm talking about the generation before you. Don't think I'm talking about the next guy watching this video. I'm talking to you, my brother. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to all of us here. Anytime you've spilt your seed to some image of a girl online that's not even yours, anytime you've logged onto Prawn Hub and you sat there just wanking away to a girl, bro, who just probably a week or two ago got kidnapped, drugged up, thrown in the back of a van, and now she's being filmed, sex trafficked, all for your pleasure. So yes, bro, I'm talking to you. Anytime you're doing things like this, you are part of the problem. I hate to be so straightforward with you. I've even had to have this conversation with myself. Or how about anytime you've ever slept with some random chick that's not even yours, that you're not even loyal, that you're not even committed to, taking away a piece of her purity just for your own pleasure so you can feel good about yourself, so you can boost up your ego, and you, for a second, you know, you can feel like a man, and then right after, you just, you 
you dip, you're straight away just on to the next girl. Great way to make a woman feel valued. I bet you would really appreciate for another man to do the same thing to your daughter. Think about that, bro. Think about another man. Think about 50 men, 100 men doing that to your daughter. I'm sure you wouldn't give them high fives on the way out. So check it out, my brother. If we want to bring back tradition, if we want to have ourselves a traditional wife, traditional family, then we got to start setting some more traditional values in our lives. We got to start really embracing traditional characteristics. God holds us to a higher standard. We see all these videos like this, showing all these women, and we're sitting here commenting away, being like, oh man, these women, oh, they're just so disgusting these days. They're so evil. They're so promiscuous. Oh, all these modern women, man. Talking about how, oh, we need to embrace our masculinity. Just do you, king. Forget about all these women. Nah, bro, let's not forget about these women. I mean, obviously, that's, that's the reason why we're in this position that we're in. That's why the world is in such a disgusting place. It's simply because we've abandoned our women. Women. Hookup culture has taught us to just use them for our own self-pleasure, make ourselves feel good, and then dispose of them. On to the next. On to the next. Oh yeah, yeah, just hook up with whoever you want, wherever you want, however many times you want. It's, it's actually healthy. Friends with benefits. This is actually healthy for us men. Enjoy all the rewards, but have none of the responsibilities. Yeah, that's a great way to go. Us men, we have completely forgotten how to treat our women how to provide for them, how to be fathers in the home, how to stay loyal to our wives, how to not be freaking rubbernecking every time a new girl walks by. Not freaking sitting here wanking it over and over to this girl, that girl, uh, horny stepmoms, uh, uh, stepsisters, and just like, what, bro? That's disgusting. You're sick. You're sick up here. What are you, what are you typing in? What are you doing? We're sitting here pointing the finger at all these women, these promiscuous women. But the sad part about it, bro, is all these promiscuous women that you see, all these women that you see that are cheating on their boyfriends and they're almost like proud about it. Like it's almost like boosting their ego of how many men that they've hooked up with and slept with. You know what the root of all this is? Their fathers abandoned them. They had no father figure. They had no one there to show them their value, their worth. They had no one telling them that, hey, you're already valuable the way you are. You don't need to go out there and search for validation, search for your value in other men. No. You're, you already got it. You're a queen. You're my princess, right? You got so much in you to give. So save that. Save that for your husband. Save all that purity, all that value. Save that for someone that's going to treat you right, that's going to love you, that's going to stay loyal to you and give you the world. So don't forget your duties, my brother. You right now, you need to become your most masculine self. You need to become your most God-fearing self. You need to get your life right with Christ. Simple as that. Christ set the stage. He's the perfect example of who we need to follow and who we need to be like. He's the perfect example of masculinity and how to go about life, how to treat people, how to be the king that you are being called to be. So hey, own up, take responsibility for your life. Stop pointing the finger. Stop looking at all these women out here and saying how just degenerate they are, how promiscuous they are and how it's all their fault and blah, 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 blah. Yes, don't get me wrong. These days, especially like in these Western cultures where we live in, yes, women have become more degenerate than Ever. Yes, promiscuity is at an all-time high. I'm not saying that it's not, but there still are a few good ones left. And God has a special one just for you. He's trying to orchestrate it right now in your life. But you keep on getting sidetracked by all these thotties. You keep on getting sidetracked by all these just distractions, by all these videos. God wants to set you up. He wants to give you one of his best daughters. He's got one for you, bro. He's got one in store. I promise you that. Question is, are you ready? Are you ready to own up? Are you trustworthy of taking on, of him passing the mantle to you? Set a new standard in your life, bro. Be the man that you're called to be. If we could all do this as a collective, one by one, we could really transform this world, bro. We harness the power to start bringing these women back, dude, to start bringing them back on track. We harness the power to gain our respect again. We can break these chains, my brothers. It all starts with us. It all starts with us being present in our family's lives, in our wives' lives, in our daughters' lives. You don't have any of those things yet. If you don't even have your own family yet, hey, what about your sister? Start treating her right. Hey, what about your mom? Your mom's bro. Are you respecting her? Are you showing her honor? That's step one, numero uno right there. Women are God's greatest gift to mankind. Don't you forget that. I know it's easy to look at all these clips that we post here on the internet and be like, oh, women are so evil. They're so blah, 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 blah. But don't forget this, bro. There's still good ones left. You just need to stop fishing and polluted waters, polluted seas. Just be patient. Actually, I heard this from, I think, How to Beast. He said, women are like the icing on the cake. The actual cake is your life, right? And all the ingredients that make up the cake are like your fitness, your businesses, your self-improvement, your relationship with God. All those things, those are all the habits that make up the cake. But the icing, bro. Oof, the icing is the best part. If the cake has no icing, I mean, yeah, it's still good, right? And it's that foundation. You can't have icing without the cake, but the icing, bro. 
it just makes the whole cake so much better. It makes my mouth water just thinking about it. But make sure that icing, make sure it's fresh, make sure it's still got its quality, right? It's not expired. Make sure that jar of icing hasn't gotten just passed around to everybody. I remember when I was little, bro, like when I was real little, my sister would like, you know, we'd have like a jar of icing and she'd like dip her spoon in there and lick the spoon and put it back in there and get all her saliva germs in the jar. And I remember I'd be like, uh, I don't want that jar anymore. Like that sucker's all yours. You can keep that far away from me. I'll go get my own jar. Don't you pass that sucker to me. So my mom, she, yeah, she would get me my own little jar, bro. And that jar was just for me. See that woman in your life that God will present to you one day if he hasn't yet. That woman is like that special icing made just for you. But before you even open up that jar and you dig into that sweet, sweet, sweet icing, you gotta bake that cake first. My brother, you gotta get the ingredients just right. That cake has to go through that heat. It has to bake. And in due time, at the perfect moment, God being the chef that he is, the master chef. He'll take out that cake when it's ready and you can put as much freaking icing on it as you want, bro. <laughs> I'm not really sure if this whole analogy with the cake and icing, I don't know if it really connects or not. It connects for me. I'm hoping I'm like articulating it well enough here on camera, but hey bro, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say here is you gotta really make sure that you're living your life the best way you can. You're becoming that next version of yourself and you're answering the call. Tristan Tate said to all the young men out there, his best advice to them, he said, stop trying to live like the man until you actually become the man. So many dudes out here, especially all these young dudes on social media, they're living like kings, bro. They think like there's some high level hot shots. And this is dangerous territory. This is where you get involved with different things and different women that you have no business being with. And ultimately you just get burned in the end. It might be fun in the, in the moment, but the end result, bro, it's complete destruction. I can promise you that. My last piece of advice, just to kind of tie up these ends here and finish off this video. You know, people ask me all the time, Dre, you know, how do you have such a wonderful marriage, right? How do you have such a fruitful marriage? And I can sit here and say all these things like, yeah, you know, I'm, be, I'm just being the man that I need to be and my wife, she just really looks up to me, which is all 100% facts. If I wasn't being the man that I was called to be and I was being a loser, I was being weak, I was still addicted to prawn, you know, I was being lazy around the house, of course my wife wouldn't be looking up to me the way she is. Of course my marriage wouldn't be as fruitful. But at the end of the day, bro, the root of all this is just simply because I have a good woman. So my best advice to you, my brother, is to be patient, Stay on your path and find yourself a good woman. I'm not gonna sit here and just take all the credit as a man and just be like, yeah, it's all cause of me and I work hard on my marriage. I mean, yeah, that is true, but really what the root of it is, is raise a good woman, bro. The best I could ever possibly imagine for myself. So finding yourself the right girl and putting that in conjunction with doing what you need to do as a man, your marriage, your relationship will only become more and more fruitful and prosperous. It's like fine wine. It ages so beautifully as life goes on. And this right here, bro, this is how we make families cool again. This is how we make tradition cool again. I wish, ah, oh bro, I wish celebrities, not to go on a rant, <laughs> I wish celebrities like Cardi B, like Megan The Stallion, all these just degenerate gross chicks. I hate to say it, bro. I don't mean to be so demeaning, but I wish these girls would, instead of promoting, you know, wear less clothes, be more promiscuous, I wish they could promote, A, be loyal to your man, become a good wife, find yourself a good husband, raise kids, build a happy family. I really wish that was the message that was being told, was being shared, that was being conveyed with the world, with women. But anyways, hey, look, bro, the world's gonna do what the world is gonna do so it's up to you and me my brother it starts here it starts now appreciate you guys if you want access to the masculine masterclass be sure to get it right now down in the description it's a five-hour course on how to become more masculine and embrace your god-given duty with that said please give this video a nice big thumbs up hit the notifications button to be informed when i drop a new video and check out this one right here this is a powerful one you absolutely don't want to miss it and i'll catch you on the next vid peace always